seated here are officials of Zamfara State Government and other invited guests who are all here to be part of the commissioning of the renovated Kaurangamu General Hospital. In villages to access health care. The General Hospital has been completely renovated, fully equipped with state-of-the-art facilities and a new dental clinic built from scratch. Other general hospitals across the state will undergo similar renovations. The new construction includes laboratory department, dental department, x-ray department, and the new hospital entrance gate. While the renovation includes the administrative block, the theater, general outpatient department, male ward, female ward, pediatric ward, eye clinic, maternity ward, medical director's office, uh, medical director's house, nurse's house, chief nursing officer's house, hospital laundry, as well as the hospital kitchen. In his speech, the governor reiterates his commitment to providing easy access to healthcare across the state. Secondary healthcare facilities like this general hospital are critical for providing more advanced care. Therefore, these facilities must be made accessible and affordable to the people in line with SDG goal number three, which aspires to ensure health and well-being for all a significant focus of this administration. The governor commissioned the renovated hospital and then moves ahead to inspect the work done. He expresses satisfaction with the project. We declared sort of emergency in the health sector in November on November 30th, 2023. And part of the promises we made is to make sure we have fully equipped hospitals, free medical care, especially for women and children. And so far, like I said in my speech, we've done this in Nasarawa in Bukim local government. We've done this in Maradun. We've done this in Kaura today. We've done this in Safi. And in the next one week, we're going to commission that of Maru. It's the same standard. This initiative marks a significant step towards improving healthcare delivery in Zamfara State. Sadiq Ilyasu, Channel Stanley News.